Hello, my dear friends. Hopefully that you guys had a great weekend. Actually, weekend for the people who they are still working, but no weekend for the people who they are always home. For us, seven days a week, it's a weekend because we are not working. Hopefully that you guys are safe and uh, good uh, time with your families. Today program, I just want to, before I start, um, I definitely recommend everybody goes to uh, Togetherness Media app. Download it, send it to your friends, and also go to togethernessmedia.com and watch our program every day, Monday through Friday at 2 o'clock live with you guys. It's a great opportunity since everybody's home, and I think it's like very good to learn about the secrets of beauty. That's my expertise for past 20 years. And I learned a lot, and I teach a lot, and this is a great opportunity, actually. Today, the way that you see, I just put my hair up, okay, to see my face clearly, because before I come uh, start the program, um, I've done my uh, face, and the way that you see is like a glowy, like an evening type uh, face makeup, and I'm just going to go over quick that what I used, because half an hour, it's not enough to do the whole makeup, and I have to do it rush, rush, rush. But today I decided to do my full make makeup fa fa face <laughs> with the contouring. And then I'm going to show you the eye makeup with the eyelashes and the colors. And I'm going to go over a few secrets. It's great to have pen and paper, write it down, and uh, you can learn a lot. Uh, okay, today what I use, I use, again, before I using it, I always do my... Uh, cleanser and then my scrub and then my moisturizer and sunscreen and uh, after that I am using the foundation today I use because I want to do it uh, you know that some of the foundation they have like more um, thicker coverage and some of them are light uh, for example the Huda Beauty I use these two uh, foundation I mix the color for my face and I blend it really really good and before I I've used the foundation. I use the um, uh, 11 uh, Maybelline. It's a makeup primer. So I use this one. And then I use the um, Embroles uh, cream as a, uh, a moisturizer. And then the primer. And I use the foundation all over my face. And I cover it with really, really good. Even my ears and my neck. Any places that it's open, so I want to make it like even and nice and uh, one color. And uh, actually, before you use the foundation, if there is any discoloration, so you have to do it uh, corrected before you do the foundation. And then, uh, which we're gonna go over that uh, on next uh, projects. And after that, I used uh, I done contouring. I use Murphy brushes uh, and Murphy palette. I use this one, this palette, and I use the, the dark colors okay and then also i did the highlighter and also i use the huda beauty i love this palette because i have all the colors do you see too dark so i, I use the contour this one again and then uh, on my cheek and then my highlighter i use that and then i use the tarte um, concealer under my eyes and highlight and also a little bit of um, Cover facts, I use this one. And uh, also I use NYX, uh, it's a glow. And also uh, Huda Beauty has, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills also has a, a glowy. So that's why I did like a little bit uh, glowy and I done my contour and everything, which I'm gonna show you next time, do my eyes and how to do your face. Okay, at the end I use the MAC uh, go over with my uh, before after uh, powder actually I use the powder Laura Marcia powder and then uh, that's it so I'm done with that and also I add a little bit of uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills the uh, hydration uh, oil I mix it with my foundation to make my look so flowy I mean glowy and nice okay okay I'm going to do, I never done my makeup to be honest, I never did my face uh, step by step uh, tutorial and this is a great opportunity for me also so I can try and, and, and do it. So um, I'm going to do my eyes, everything on my face is finished except my uh, lip and also I use the uh, Makeup Forever, this one, 
I use for my eyebrows. And under my eyebrows, also I use the um, Huda Beauty, the, the, the highlighter. So I brought the uh, eyebrows bone out. And the way that you see, so I, I uh, make like a cheekbone more obvious. And then it's very, very important when you are doing the contouring, you have to use uh, two colors, dark to take it in and light to brought up. And then you use these colors to show each other. You cannot use only dark colors because if you don't use light colors next to it, it won't show. There are so many great details and information, guys, about the makeup. You name it, you will have it. There are tons of tons of great secrets every single time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my eyes, okay? For eyes, I recommend definitely you have to use the right brushes, please. Their eyes are small, their eyes are big, so you have to use the right brush to do faster and more uh, nicer, okay? Let's see, if somebody has a big eyes, like big eye lid, so if you use the small brushes, it's going to take time to do it, and then, by the way, you are, you are blending, it's going to get dry. So you better use the right brush, it's extremely important. You better have the synthetic, but uh, original synthetic soft, not synthetic for uh, drawing this is for the uh, this is for the makeup you have to make sure that you are buying the brushes it's synthetic for especially for makeup okay and you need to have that because when you're using the liquid um, let's see eyeshadows or liquid foundation or anything liquid it's great softer to use the synthetic uh, makeup brushes because it's going to do the job perfectly nice and uh, the cleaning is like very very good the one that has like only uh, no, not synthetic like your regular so those are good for the powder okay so since i'm going to use the um let me see the eyeshadow primer oh god okay let me see my eyeshadow primer sorry i left it here okay i'm using the murphy uh, there are so many other ones and uh, I'm going to use the Murphy Eyeshadow Primer. Eyeshadow Primer, what it does, it makes your uh, eyeshadow set really good, long-lasting, and it shows the true color, okay? If you don't use the primer, and then you use the, it maybe stays, some of the eyelids stay the eyeshadow, but it's not going to show the, the perfect color that you're using on the palette. So what Eyeshadow Primer does, long lasting it shows the the color true colors exact and also uh, it, it's it's set up nice actually so it's good so what i'm going to use i'm going to use the palette it's um, makeup by atelier makeup by atelier are made in paris and you cannot find it in any makeup store here they don't have it but you can order this palettes online. I recommend every single one to have Makeup Atelier. I love it. It's great. It's nice. The colors are very, very, very good. And also all the products, uh, their foundation, primers, everything on Makeup Atelier, it's very, very nice. Okay. So what I'm doing, always I recommend that use the palette and use the amount of the primer I want to use it. I'm going to go ahead and you see like a very small amount. Again, I told you to not waste your makeup. You always have to use only small amount. And then if you want to add more, so obviously you can do it. Especially when you are using um, a tip like this one. So you cannot put it back if you are wasting it. Okay, so what I do, I'm going to go over my lid. I'm going to use only this much. I'm going to go and cover right under my eyebrows and all my lid. You know, also you can use this under your eyes if you want to use it. Okay. Sorry, I have to use the mirror. So I'm going to be comfortable to do the right things. Since I've done the flawless look on my face like an evening type makeup I'm going to use a light color and dark color for showing okay 
this is the amount that you are going to use it make sure that you are blending good you're not going to blend too much because it's going to get dry and don't do it less because still it's going to show the lines so make sure that you are doing i always use the primer also outside of my eyes you know if you i if i want to do it like more uh you know um, smoky type eyes so i don't want to use it because um if i'm not using primer one side and the other side the colors is not going to be same so i want to make sure the colors are same and then it's easy to clean it to get rid of all the extra one so you better have uh more outside okay and then you can do the under if you want to make if you want to put uh, colors under your eyes to make your eyes bigger and then you can do that okay i'm gonna use this one and then i'm gonna go because i'm using the powder so i'm gonna use the brush and uh, this is uh, uh bd brushes so do you see like uh it's an oval shape and it's not too big and small this is perfect for my face choose the right one okay what i do i'm gonna use the color light this is the beige color and i'm gonna uh, also use the uh, light and dark gray for today makeup uh, since i have a glowy face and stuff like that so i can do it so again i'm gonna go and then i'm gonna put uh, all these colors on my the whole eyes okay there is one thing that you guys have to make sure if i'm using the light colors if i do the light colors all over my lid then on top if i want to use let's say black color or gray it's going to turn to different colors so you have to make sure that you are not doing the, the, at this situation i'm not doing the light all over i'm just going to go in the corners half of the, my eyelid and under my eyebrows okay this is the area because i'm going to use the dark colors and i don't want to mix two colors because it's going to change the color you have to make sure that you're using it in the right way okay and what i do i'm not going to go over my nose it's going to be like exactly when i open my eyes you see the, the inner corner so the shadow should start from death okay okay and then if i feel it's like much so if i want to make it less what i do i'm just gonna go ahead before i use the color i'm just gonna blend it everything i love to do blending it's extremely important guys to do the right blending because we don't want to show lines or stuff like that but it's like uh, make it really really nice okay and then usually you can use uh, like more beige color on top of the light if you don't want to it more obviously so what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm, I'm using the huda beauty uh, this palette is very very nice if you see it so i'm gonna use the little bit darker beige color so i don't want to make it too light so what i do i can with my uh, blending brush i can go over this and blend a little bit good uh, there are so many techniques guys that you have to learn because you have to make sure what type of eye shape do you have if it's like close set it's wide set it's deep it's small it's big and uh, there are so many things that you have to do the right way okay so i'm going to use the dark colors i'm going to use the gray but i'm using the brush it's like an oval small shape like a blending uh, brush but it's smaller why because i don't want to exceed from my nine you know like i call this like a third nine you know i call this like a crease you know uh, i want to do the dark colors on my crease so it opened the eyes okay and then after that i can do the blending i want to make sure i'm not gonna go above the crease line under my eyebrows i want to have a solid same colors but there's another thing that you guys can do it which i'm gonna do right now because the uh, the black color beige color uh, or gray those are uh, cool colors okay for the makeup to look like much nicer we can you we can add warm color like i can add like uh, these two colors it's a warm color you know brown uh, dark uh, peach and uh, you know uh, dark burgundy dark purple uh, those are like dark colors that you can use uh, to warm your shadow or your cheek or lip anything that you want to do i'm going to use a little bit this one i'm going to use it above the 
uh, crease line, okay? Because uh, it's going to give like beautiful shape. What I do, I'm going to go ahead and add. And do you see the blending? It has to be right, so I don't want to put any line under. I using uh, this is royal brush, and I'm using the oval shape and blending. Blending is the most important brush that you can have. So I'm combining uh, these two colors together, mixing these two colors, and then I go over my crease to give the warm look, and also it's going to look very nice and blending. This is like an eyeshadow technique. You know, we are learning so many techniques for eyeshadow. There are so many great techniques that you can use it. And the blending is very important. Do you see how I'm doing it? So in and out. And you know, like, like a white pink. See? It's very good. I'm going to go over the outside look. That's very, very nice. I love this color. And you can use with so many other colors. These days, like... Mm, in the fashion, it's more like uh, more light colors. You're using it brownish, even for the brides, you know. Uh, you don't want to do like uh, overdo makeup, you know. Uh, less is more. But now these days, it's, it's very in fashion, uh, which you are going to do it. Okay, so what I do after I blend the uh, these two colors together, I love it. Then I'm going to use corners. Uh, outside of the crease i'm just going to use the palette uh, atelier paris this one again i have to use the right brush okay i'm not going to use a big one uh, what i do where is my small one here again the oval shape because i'm going to shape it okay i'm going to use the color and i'm going to go right inside Hopefully that you guys can see it uh, clearly. I try my best to show. Okay, what I do, I'm just gonna go over, which I call third line or crease. The most important, when you open the eyes, you don't wanna see the line. This is the beauty of this type of uh, eyeshadow. And then when you have space between your eyebrows and your eyes like a wide space you can go over it but if you have small you don't have that much space your eyebrows are very close to your eyes do not uh, blend the colors above the crease because the beauty of that is okay you see i just add a little bit now i'm gonna go with the blending i'm gonna start blending and add more of the same color okay again you have to use the right brush what I do I'm just gonna go over like this and blend a little bit up mixing with my brownie color not too much okay this is the way it's supposed to be and you know what when you're using this one it makes your eyes pump out it makes your eyes bigger this is very good okay i love blending blending is the most important part for the eyes okay and then i lift it. people who they have like more droopy eyes there's another way to use the eyeshadow to make the eyes more lifted okay i'm gonna go a little bit faster because again my god time is too it's running so fast okay if you see it i just add a uh, color to the end i can go more darker i can blend it out then i can be mixed again with those color play with that until you see the correct uh, shapes and correct uh, color okay not bad i like this one okay and then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go over a little bit under my eye, uh, which I want to make my eyes like more bigger. It's very, very good. I'm going to go soft. And the way I'm doing it, I'm not doing like this one because more closer to eyeshadow, it makes eyes smaller. 
so if you want to give like wide look to your eyes try to blend it like this towards down I'm telling you there are so many ways this is one of the way that you can do and then you can play you can learn you can mix and match all the stuff together so this is like it, it makes my eyes more bigger so I'm just gonna go through over because our time not finishing so I want to make sure that I'm going good. right okay uh, before I do my um, you know lashes apply lashes or mascara um, I love it I'm gonna use the eyelash curler because eyelash curler it makes your eyes open lifted like smiling on your face okay try not to push it too hard okay before I do the um, eyelashes I'm gonna use my uh, volumizing uh, mascara I'm gonna apply a little bit of that because why because the, the lashes are light colors when you put the mascara it shows how long is your uh, eyelashes to, to correct the, the uh, right eyelash false eyelashes okay so that's why you apply a little bit you put apply you apply also under your lashes because when you do under it opens your eyes and it makes it big one of the other technique guys you can use is when you're using the uh, eye lenses the lens help to open your eyes and make it bigger automatically okay so i applied and then I'm gonna use number 213 I love it number 213 eyelashes for me actually false eyelashes because I used it I love it I don't want to use too much and what I do make sure that the eyelashes you put the eyelashes in the middle I don't want to make my eyes like this one so what I do if it's long what you can do cut it from the back side not the front because the eyelashes when it's nice that it start from the uh, long to the short so if you want to cut it cut it from the long part because if you do it from the short part it's going to become even and eyelashes even like in one link it's not going to look nice so i'm going to apply this one sometimes they said oh my god we cannot do it you know, how we can put our own eyelashes you know it's hard to do it um nothing it's hard when you start practicing, so obviously you will learn and it's gonna look nice. So this is the way I done. And then I'm gonna do the other one. There are so many great eyelashes outside, you know, and then you definitely have to match it. Uh, you cannot have only one type of uh, eyelash and using for everybody. No, that's not right. You have to have a different type long short thick uh so many different ones so you can use it i'm going over to apply on this eye actually it's very easy when somebody put the lashes for you but in this case i always do my own makeup most of the times even when i'm going to the wedding Okay. It's gonna take a little bit of time to glue get dry. You have to make sure. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I don't know if you can see it clearly or not, so I applied my eyelashes. I'm gonna do this one. This is not okay. Usually I'm not using the eyeliner. I don't like eyeliner for me. Uh, I think it's not matching, but I love to do eyeliner inside. You know, like when you want to make your eyes like a more romantic, nice, so you can use it. What I do, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more on the bottom part. And then I'm gonna add mascara on top. I want to make sure my mascara sticks really good. 
Okay, I think this is fair enough to have that. Okay, and then what I do, I'm just going to go over and clean the extra one. And then I can put like a nice line. Do you see it? The way that I do. What I do, it's going to be starting from here. So what you do, you just clean the extra out. So you're not going to have any uh, black colors. Hopefully that I can bring models, guys. I want to do like so many different nice makeup from models and uh, hopefully in the future definitely will do that so i'm gonna go over my lip because sometimes you can use the light color i told you before that because my lip is like big enough i don't want to make it so bigger but i'm just gonna go fill it a little bit with the um i'm using sorme it's a very natural color i love it i'm just gonna go over Okay, you have to make sure when you're doing your lip, you're not going to dip your, like, extend your lip, okay? Unless it's, like, very, very small. There is a technique and there is a way how to make your lip smaller and how to make your lip bigger. So we can go over. Uh, next programs when we are doing it. Okay, also there is a way when we have a one technique that you don't have to use, like, a V-shape when you have uh, no space between your lip and your um, nose okay so i'm going to use uh, anastasia when i love this color a little bit dark i go and fill it i love this color i bought this color for myself and i'm using it even if I don't have any makeup, so when I use the lip, like dark lip color with like a little bit um, mascara, that's enough for a day. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to have, uh, let me see if I have my here and then have it over there but you can have your um, lipstick uh, brush make sure that you put your lipstick uh, properly like inside when you laugh so you're not gonna see the lines and everything so okay I'm not uh, Expanding my line and stuff like that. I think this is good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we finished it. We're done actually. So, do you see the eyeshadow? And then we can go ahead and fix it and make it like darker or lighter or mix the colors and everything. But overall, this is one of the techniques that you can use it. What I've done. So uh, I just open my eyes a little bit and then my eyebrows is done actually. So this is a perfect uh, finishing makeup. And then um, also when you want to use the, uh, when you done your face and you want to use your eyeshadow, you can use the powder. Okay, put the powder inside, I mean under your eyes. So when the eyeshadow fall and then after that you can use this one, the brush is it, like a, like this one like a fan so you can go over and clean it really really nice hopefully that you guys like the program today program if there is any question or anything more than welcome to uh, message uh, togethernessmedia.com so we're going to answer all your questions following the day if you have any suggestion or any ideas if you like the program if you don't like the program you can go ahead and message to us and uh, don't forget to download the app, the Togetherness Media app, and tell all your friends uh, to watch our program, Secrets of Beauty, every Monday through Friday at 2 o'clock live. We are coming to you to show you the great uh, secrets of makeup and hair. Okay? Hopefully that you like the program. And God bless you. Stay safe, home, and enjoy your free time.
Okay, thank you very much and see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.